Hi again. It's been a while since I did a video. Um, I'm glad to be here. Um, it's been a while. Yeah, I know. I'm feel blessed, you know, that I'm here. You know, that I'm here. I'm alive. I'm well. Um, blessed that I had this gift for a second chance. Even, I could say, a third chance of life. And it's with this gift, I decided to step into this purpose, my purpose, God's purpose for my life, where he's leading me in this self of recovery, of growth, of finding my spiritual awareness and self-love that I'm choosing to chronicle my journey as I wish I did the past two years as to what's been happening in my life that got me to where I am now. It's a long story and I'm not gonna go into it right now. Um, but I will try to make a video, a separate video entirely about it so I can go into it in detail as to why I am deciding uh, to go into the whole thing as to why I've decided, as the title say, to start my lock journey. Um... As of this week, I'm into my second week of my starter lock. And it's been very easy to manage so far, really. Um, all I had to do is just spray rose water in the morning when I get up um, as my morning routine. And massage my scalp a little bit, you know. And... I normally do the same thing at night with my hair. I did start my locks on my own. I didn't really do anything as far as specifically, um, um, as far as uh, like, you know, tr the way I, I decide to start it, like, um, pattern in anything I try to keep it a certain way and then I decide you know what I'm just gonna do it where it goes it goes um I did start my log journey on January 26 I'm sorry on sorry I started it on January 16 but I didn't like the width of it and I undid it and I did it again on the 21st. So my actual log journey started on the 21st. Um, at night, all I really do is uh, spray a little bit of uh, rose water in it and uh, wrap it at night with scarf and bonnet. But I don't do scarf a lot. I really just do the bonnet. And I also sleep with a uh, silk pillowcase, but I always sleep with a sleep silk pillowcase even before I started this uh, journey. Um, because that's not new to me. I always did. Um, uh, during the day, I tend to wrap my hair with scarf or head wrap. Um, it depends on which one I have handy to me to do it. I don't really go nowhere, so that's what I normally do anyway. Um, the only time I go out is if I have, like, appointments, doctor's appointments and stuff. Um, I don't know how... how punctual or how precise my video will be because like I say I have appointments and things but I know I can
promise this that I'll try to be as uh, precise and positive and make it a learning experience and a growth experience of both, you know, mind, body, and soul. And, you know, for everyone that's watching, explaining my process, explaining what I'm going through while I'm doing my videos, explaining what's been happening, explaining everything that's been happening, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, what am I missing? Um, I will let you guys know of things that I'm using, of things that's working and things that's not working. Um, for my twist, I used the starter twist. I did use my first twist. I use uh, lock and gel. Um, that one, I don't know why. Um, I don't know if it was me. Or if I use too much or whatnot. Um, I don't know. It was a little. I don't know. My scalp was. I don't know what was going on there. It itched a little bit. So when I redid it. I just did water. And when I retwist it. I just did water and oil and that when I retwist it on the 21st. I just did water and oil and that helped. Um so when I'm doing my retwist I decide maybe I'm gonna use only aloe and oil and water. When on my on my um on my on my one month that's all I'm using. So let's see if that works. So Fingers crossed. Um, because I have, I have very sensitive skin, um, sensitive scalp. I'm trying to be as natural as possible, stay away from chemicals, uh, drinking lots of water, stay away from a lot of... Uh, Things that's not good for me, and not putting things in my hair near my head that's has chemical in it on my skin and my body. Um, yeah, um, my woes water. Um, uh, what I do, it's like I try doing. Um, rose water with, like, I put a little bit of rose water in my water bottle. This water bottle I got from Amazon. It's a mist water bottle spray. I put, um, uh, as you can see, I put also vitamin E oil in there. It's like rose water with water. It's, there's really a little drop of rose water in there. And water, normal distilled water, rose water, and vitamin E oil. So that's all that's in here. And then I spray it in my hair at night. And I do the same in the daytime when I get up. And I massage it. Um, I know right now... The hair is very frizzy, but I'm not bothering myself with that. I don't worry about those things. The frizz, I kind of like it. It's fine. The things I'm not trying to touch too much. I'm not doing a lot of things with my hair. Because, you know, the first few months with your lock, you try not to bother your hair a lot with your locks. Actually, the first year, you don't try to annoy your head and your hair. Because that's the whole reason I choose to do locks. So I don't keep touching and bothering. The whole thing with my natural hair and my locks is that I don't want to be bothering it a lot. 
try to be as natural as possible. Water, oil, that's it. Um, I plan to wash my hair as needed. But right now, I'm doing it uh, uh, once a month if I can. If not, maybe every six to eight weeks. Because my hair tends to be, because I use to wash my hair prior to this, like every six to eight weeks sometime because my hair doesn't get dirty that easily. So I'll try for my retwist. I'm doing it. Uh, I'm doing one month retwist. But um, for future retwists, I'll see if I can do it as needed. I'm not going to retwist, continuously retwist my hair, like, too much. Because they say it's not good to keep retwisting your hair too fast or too soon. So, I'm not going to force my hair or bother my hair too much. Because my hair doesn't like that. I know my hair. So, I'm going to try to leave my hair alone. And if... She, it need retwist, I'll know. If it's too dry, I'll know because I know my hair. So my hair tends to grow fast. So if it wants to grow, I'll let it grow. If it's dry, I'll give it water. And outside of that, my hair loves to be left alone. So I'm just going to leave my hair alone. So, so again, I'm just trying not to bother it. Um, I did color my hair prior to starting my log journey with a non-bleach color. Uh, as I mentioned before, I try not to put chemicals in my hair. So I will be, uh, putting all those information and all the products I've used. I put that down there. And I will be doing a retwist video and I will also... Um, post the products that I've been using and as I mentioned I will do a video as to a detailed video as to what happened to me during the time that I was not doing videos and to why I actually will detail video which also uh goes into what happened to me, why I decided to start my log journey. Um, and as I mentioned, a retwist video, I will do that too. So I'll put all the products for you guys. And if there's any question, comment, let me know. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And yeah, and this is my hair. Very frizzy. Yeah. I don't know if I can show you guys the back. I know people love saying um, ugly face, ugly face. Me, I don't consider ugly face. I consider beginning phase, getting into your starting phase. So I don't call it ugly face because I think that's not right just call it ugly it's just that your hair is starting out so you don't just call it ugly it's just like the beginning of something you know so let's see if i can show you guys the back of my hair so bear with me please let's see That's the back of my hair. I'm not sure you guys can see it. Some of the back is like practically all looks okay. Some of 
the sides are. Even Little taller, very low. Alright guys, that's it. Talk to you guys later. God willing. I'll see you guys real soon. And we'll discuss some more later on. Okay? Be safe out there. Be good to one another. All right. Bye.